and all these lies about the post office. Let, let, let's talk about that. What is happening with the post office? The post office is doing two things right now. They are condensing their mail carriers routes and they are removing public mailboxes that are not used or seldom used because it doesn't make sense to force mail carriers to stop at a mailbox that is always empty. Doesn't make sense. Barack Obama, during his eight years, removed somewhere between 12 or 14,000 public mailboxes in this country. There was never a peep. There was never an accusation he was trying to impact the election. Donald Trump removes a few hundred public mailboxes and says, oh, he's trying to sabotage vote by mail. What? There have been times where I've gone to, where I've, I've had to mail something and I go somewhere I think there's a public mailbox and it's not there anymore. And I say, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to go somewhere else that I know there's a mailbox. And then you go there and then you put your letter in there. I mean, they're actually trying to tell you, they want you to believe that Donald Trump is removing a fraction of the public mailbox, not all of them. He's just removing some to condense the mail routes. They're actually saying that people are going to go with their mail-in ballots, they're going to go to put it in, and the mailbox is not going to be there, and apparently they're going to give up, and, that, and that's going to be suppressing the vote. They're not going to try the second place. They're not going to try the third place. I mean, let me know. Have you all experienced this? I sure have. Going somewhere where you think there's a mailbox and it isn't there anymore? I've experienced that tons of times. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. So please let me know in the comment section, is this something you've experienced too? Because if, if, if it's just me, I'm going to feel like I'm in an out-of-body experience. But that's what they're blaming for. What's the other thing that Donald Trump's done? He has taken out unused or underused letter sorting machines. Not package sorting machines, letter sorting machines. He's taken out a few hundred. There were 500, I think, I think it was 502. I don't have the number in front of me. I'm just kind of going on a rant here. The number was 502, I believe, that were slated to be decommissioned because they weren't being used. The Postal Service has said that they are getting less flat envelopes and more packages. So the, the envelopes, the letter, the postcard sorting machines are not useful anymore. They don't need as many. They're not used as much. So they have been decommissioning and taking out these letter sorters, flat envelopes, like not packages, flat envelopes, taking them out and replacing, that, and replacing them with equipment or space to store or process packages. What did the Democrats say? The Democrats accused Trump of sabotaging senior citizens' prescription medication deliveries. Every single prescription bottle I've ever seen is, is cylindrical and it is three-dimensional. You can't put that in a flat envelope. There is no physical way a letter sorting machine can impact the delivery of a package. If anything, it would actually make the package get there faster. That's the whole point that they're saying. It's taking up space. We need space to be able to process the packages. So we're removing the letter sorters. Democrats are pissed because they were planning on pushing through nationwide cheat by mail, mail-in voting. A bill that we've covered on the podcast in the HEROES Act that would re require that all 50 states mail out a mail-in ballot to every single registered voter, every registered voter in America, even if they're dead, even if they're imprisoned, even if they've moved away, even if they're otherwise ineligible, they get a ballot. And the Democrats are pissed because they were counting on those unused and, and largely mothballed letter sorting machines being there to be able to process the tens of millions of votes that they expected to be coming in. That's why they're pissed. These things aren't being used, but in, in their own little hypothetical, they wanted them here. Yeah, Mike, we're going to talk about that too. They're also saying that the letter sorters are sabotaging Social Security benefit checks. We covered this on the show. I think it's 99.4%, more than 99. Let's be safe for the fact checkers. More than 99% of all Social Security benefits are direct deposit. So when you hear a Democrat saying that it is blocking millions of senior, seniors from getting their Social Security checks, it's a lie. Every single Social Security benefit has to be deposited electronically unless you apply for an exception. And in doing so, you acknowledge that the Postal Service is unreliable, that the Postal Service is slow, and that you are not able to do it electronically. So you have to actually apply for an exception to make it happen. So everyone that isn't getting their... their Benefits checks, I'm sad if it's delayed a couple days, but it's not Trump's doing. They all chose to use snail mail. Don't complain that it's snail mail when you've chosen to do it.
by snail mail. But that's the lie that the Democrats are telling. They're claiming that. There was another one. I love this one. It was from Maxine Waters. She said that Trump is sabotaging senior citizens getting their groceries. Has anyone ever ordered groceries through the U.S. Postal Service? Is that even possible? Will they even, I, I, I've heard of people like shipping fruit or, or gift bags or things like that, but never groceries, never like, oh, we need some milk, we need some eggs. I mean, the only groceries, we said this on the show the other day, the only groceries you could put in a flat envelope would be a, a thin slice of prosciutto or maybe some bacon, right? Thin slices of meats, maybe individual pieces of lettuce. That's the only thing that could possibly be impacted by the removal of letter sorting machines, flat envelope sorting machines. But they don't care. They lie anyway. They need this to go through because if they don't stop that, they will not have the mail sorting machines necessary for their nationwide mail-in voting takeover, which they want to pass. It's in the HEROES Act. They're demanding it. They're holding up the next round of coronavirus relief because they want that passed. And Trump offered them a skinny bill that gives them some, but not universal. And Pelosi said, no, it would not be strategically uh, a good move. That's what she said, literally today. Pelosi, Pelosi said it would not be strategic to pass a skinny bill because that would let the Republicans off the hook. They want to blame Republicans for withholding the next round of aid, even though it's the Democrats doing it.